Ah, social media. It's scary. I mean, what do I do? I, what do I tweet on Twitter? What, what kind of videos do I put on YouTube? I mean, what should I say on Facebook? These are, pro these are questions that lots of companies have when they try to figure out, what should I be doing with my social media? And what happens is, a lot of times, companies just say, hey, you know what? Let's put anything out there. But the problem is, if you put anything out there, well, where's the consistency? Think about it. People started buying your product or buying your services because you consistently gave them the same product. You consistently gave them what they wanted. And if one day your videos are, are funny and, and the jokes and all of a sudden they're serious, people don't know what to do. Or if your, 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 your Facebook posts are helpful and tell us, hey, look for these deals, the next day is buy our product now. Wait, wait, they, they were being friendly, now they're doing this? I mean, you don't want to have these mixed messages. And in order not to have mixed messages with your social media, what you really need to do is set up a social media plan. And that's what today's video is about, developing a social media plan. Now, a social media plan, basically what you need to do is you define and make crystal clear what you are going to be using social media for and what you're not going to be using it for, okay? What are going to be on those tweets? What's not going to be retweeted? What's okay for Facebook? What's okay for YouTube? And what's not? Because you need to lay it out there because, you know, we have lots of turnover in business. You want to make sure consistently year over year you're giving people the same kind of thing. And it works the same way in social media. Okay. But the first question you have to do is to ask yourself, what do I want social media to be? I mean, is it for me to inform my clients? Do I want to make a good relationship? What is it? Well, the first thing about social media you need to realize is that social media is used to converse with your clients. Okay? Twitter, you can, in 140 characters or less, you can tweet to your clients. You can tweet to your customers and they can tweet back to you and question and answer. Facebook, you can post something on here. Your customers can post on here. You can help them out. YouTube, you put your videos up there, people can comment. You can reply to their comments. All kinds of stuff. You use your social media to converse and make a social community because then people feel more connected to your company, your products, these things, and they're more likely to buy. You don't use your social media to sell things because if all I ever got was tweets that says, buy this, buy a Coke, buy a Coke, buy a Coke, I'd be like, eh, I don't want to I, If I want to buy a Coke, I'll go to the vending machine down the hall. Okay, so you don't necessarily use a social media to direct sell, you do more indirect sales. That's why you see a lot of, you know, before, and like P90X, I'll show you before and after pictures. This, this would be a before picture, okay? Um, you look at these things, you see, oh, they let their, the story of the product do its selling for itself, and then if people want to buy, then they go to your website to buy, okay? But you got to figure out, hey, you know, what are we going to use it for? Is it to entertain? Is it to educate? All kinds of stuff. And... When you're doing that, you figure, okay, I want to use it for educating my clients, but which one is right for me? Because that's the next thing you do with your, your uh, social media plan is decide which, which social media tools are you going to use and why. Okay, now, I'm a professor. Okay, I teach business courses. All right. Also, I travel around the world and make videos. So top ten things you want to see in Germany, five things you'll love and hate about visiting Spain, all kinds of stuff like that. And since I make videos to help educate people whether it's in travel or business, obviously YouTube is what I'd want to do because I can put my videos out there. I can educate the people where I don't have to be in front of the lecture, which is really great for the students that sleep through the 930 class or in the 930 class. It happens both ways, okay? Then you look at, well, what about Facebook? How do I want to, what, what would I want to use that for? Well, maybe I want to post something a little bit longer. I don't want to make a video because face, this is instantaneous. You know, when you want to post a video to YouTube, you need to have a fast internet connection to get it up there. You know, if I'm at home, I don't have a fast internet connection, so I can post here. On there, if a student has a question, I can answer them right back. Um, or if there's a link to a funny article that relates to the business top or a travel top, I can post it there and people can look at it. Twitter, how would I, what, what would I use this for? Well, as a professor, stu I know my students, they have classes all day. Now, let's say I can't make it to class at 1230. They're not going to go home and check their... their their computers and their email, but their Twitter feed might be up. So I can send out a tweet saying, hey, no class today at 1230, and hey, it's all right there. Okay, so you check, how are each of these going to be laid out? And you look at other ones. What about Pinterest? How would I use a Pinterest thing? It's a bunch of pictures. And I hear a lot of people say, you know, why, why would I want to use it? It's just, it's just for women. It's 80% women. Well, women buy stuff, don't they? You know, and it's not just female things. They buy things for the whole family. And if you have your product there, and if, let's say you want to, I don't say you're a builder, 
Okay, you're Bob the Builder, okay, and you're building homes. Well, who makes the major decisions when it comes to home purchases? The design, these kind of things. The female of the household has a lot more say in it than the male, okay? And so, well, if we knew that, well, Bob the Builder, who probably isn't so into Pinterest, might think, you know what? I could post my, you know, some of my work, and so they can see the kind of stuff I do. Then that goes on as someone pins it on there. Oh, I like what he did. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, that's nice. Hey, wait, that guy's in my neighborhood. I could hire him. You got to look at, you know, who's using which platform and that helps you decide. Okay. So, but the other way you want to look at, if you want to look at which one I should decide, there's some other criteria you look at, basic stuff. Like I said, user characteristics would be something that who's using, who are my clients? Okay, what are they using? Which ones are there? Um, you know, for example, if you want to get young, you know, like I said, you know, under 25 students, Twitter, get it to them that way. If you want to get it to the, you know, uh, the senior citizens kind of stuff, well, they have Facebook because they're keeping up with their grandkids and they're watching videos on here to see, you know, to, what am I going to, where am I going to go on my next trip? I can look on there. You start looking at the demographics. Who's looking at things? Like I talked about with Pinterest. Other things you look at when you're trying to determine which one of these social media platforms are right for you, because guys, there literally are hundreds. You ask yourself, what about brand exposure? How much do I want to be in control of what's on here? Okay, Facebook, great. You can put the pictures up. You can have your product explanations. You can have forums. You can have all kinds of stuff right here on your Facebook page. So it's great for controlling your brand. Okay, helping developing your brand. That's why when you watch commercials, it says find us on Facebook. Now, on the other hand, if I want to develop my brand, it's hard to develop my brand on Twitter. I mean, think about it. 140 characters, I can't really get much there. Okay, so it's kind of tough. YouTube, maybe I want to use this to, you know, brand development. Well, yeah, I can show my product being in use, and then people know how it works, and they'll feel better about it. Yeah, this is a real deal. That might help me there with brand development. Okay? Other thing you want to look at is customer communication, because, again, that's what social media is about. It's about being social. It's about communicating. And if you guys ever heard of the term Web 2.0, it's not some kind of new technology. You don't need to get the new iPhone 6 or 7 or 8 to, uh, to make it work. Web 2.0 is just the internet that now has these functionalities that you can't interact with clients. You can't tweet back and forth. You can't have Facebook interaction. Okay, So that's the, one of the big things about it. So if you want to use your social media to really communicate with your people back and forth, well, Facebook is great because you have your comments and posts. And Twitter is great because you go instantaneous back and back, back and forth. YouTube, maybe not as much because if you've got to use a whole other video to you know, answer a question, it becomes a little more complicated. It takes more time. And you start looking at things, okay, so I've got my communication, I want this, my brand exposure, but you know what? You want to get people to buy your product. Okay, so most of the time you're going to be selling your product on your website. So how do we get them from my social media to my website to make the purchase? Well, YouTube's kind of tough because you have your video here. You can't click on a link on there, maybe in the more information, but most people don't read the more information. Okay, so you're like, okay, it's, sometimes I don't get good web traffic from YouTube. Well, on Twitter, there's only 140 things, so if I want them to really know anything, they, i got to put a link on there. Well, then they can link to my web page. Hey, that will bring traffic in that way. Same thing with Facebook. We can post the pages on here so it helps it go on there, okay? So, you know, how are we going to traffic, you know, how are we going to build traffic to a website with social media? Um, how much do we want to develop our brand with our social media? How much do we want to communicate? And user characteristics. These are the four main things you're looking at when you're trying to decide which one of these hundreds of social media platforms to use. Um, other things, when you actually have your social media um, plan, it's going to say, you know, we are going to use these kind of social media platforms because X, Y, and Z. You're going to explain why. And then you're going to say, how are we going to post, meaning how and when. So is Monday's funny post day, Tuesday's is educational post days, Wednesday is answering questions on videos. You put these things out there. I mean, literally, you'll make a plan. Here, here's a social media plan. Like, Monday, from the blog, we'll talk about this. Twitter, we're going to have these kind of tweets. Facebook, we're going to do this. And YouTube, we're going to do this. You literally lay it out there and say what we're going to talk about, what we're not going to talk about, okay? Um, which, which media platforms we're going to use. You have it all laid out there. And the thing is, there's pro computer pro programs out there, like Hootsuite, that you can program everything in. So you could go and decide, I'm going to party like crazy on St. Patrick's Day, but then how do, you, how do I promote all my Ireland videos. Well, I program it in so those videos and stuff are popping up on YouTube 
and Facebook and, uh, and Twitter while I'm out enjoying green beer in Chicago. Okay, so you start seeing these things like that, okay? Um, also, in your social media plan, you're going to say which groups, sorry, which groups you're going to be targeting. Uh, as in, you know, who am I shooting for with the Twitter, who am I shooting for with YouTube, with Facebook, these kind of things. And when you have an overall idea of who you're shooting for, when a new Facebook or a new Twitter comes up, or a new social media comes up like a Pinterest, oh, that fits in our demographics, that fits who we want to be working with, so you know that, yes, we should expand there. Versus, no, wait, this isn't who we're looking for, so we don't go there, okay? Um, and one of the things is you don't want to limit yourself with social media. I know YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter are the three big ones, but there's other ones out there that you might find are better for you. I mean, if you're a travel kind of person, you know, TripAdvisor, being on with them would probably be better than being on Twitter, okay? You, 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 I don't know. You, you look at these things, you do your research to find out, okay? Now, once you come up with your plan, so you know what you're tweeting, what you're not putting on Facebook, where you're using each one of these for, when you're going to be posting these things, all you have all that, you need to stick to it because consistency is key. Because if you make funny videos, you need to have continuously funny videos. If you're having in, in educational posts, you need to keep up with that because people go to your social media site for the education because that's what they came for or the humor because that's what they came for. Stick with your plan. Go with that. And so if you're gone on vacation for two weeks and someone else comes in, they can follow that plan. Okay? Um, also, with social media plans, make sure you spend the time and the money to get it right. Because this isn't easy. You will spend hours making sure your tweets are okay, making sure it's getting the right groups, all this stuff. You don't just hand it off to anybody and say, oh, tweet something. That is not going to get it done. That looks cheap. Make sure there's a purpose. So spend the time and the effort and the money. So if you're going to need the money, I mean, if you're going to need to pay someone to come in and do it, you need to pay them. Because if you're just making it a side job for somebody and not something they're getting paid for, you're guaranteed to fail with your social media. So pay the people to do it, a good job for it. And if you need consultants, there's lots of social media consultants out there. Just search online. I'm sure there's some in your community. So I hope that gives you a rough idea of how to get your, decide what social media programs you should use how to develop a social media plan, all kinds of stuff. So if you have any questions about your social media plan, please leave a comment down below. Uh, obviously, I'll get back to you. You can f you please subscribe and like us on YouTube, or you can find us on Facebook, and even iTunes is trying to get on here too, or you can actually follow us on Twitter as well. So we're all over the place. And so let us know if you have any questions, any concerns, comments. We'll get back to you. And check us out at our website at www.waltersworld.com. Bye, and good luck with your social media.